welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am the host of said show, the Psychic Medium and Channel, also a hypnotist and a healer. But today, for the purpose of this show, we will focus on Psychic Medium Channeling. If you are calling in, um, I ask that you either have one specific question ready or a connection to a loved one on the other side. The question can be about life, love, career, finances, work, or it can be about someone on the other side. What else? What else? What? I will never reach out to you. Never, ever, ever, never, ever reach out to you. Hey, hey, Vaughn. Hey, Heather. I want to say hi to everybody in um, YouTube right now. That is all... Um, just chatting and talking. Rebecca, Sal, Amy, Heather, um, Terry is here. I want to make sure I don't forget anyone, although I probably will. And I apologize for that because the chat goes back pretty far. Um, this Wednesday show will be at 7 p.m. rather than noon. And then Thursday, I'm going to do a show at 8 p.m. with Marla Martinson. Please join us live for any and all of those shows. We would love to have you. When I'm on the air with Marla, you get two readers. Marla flips some tarot cards. I channel. Fun is had by all, except for the people I cut off. I don't really cut them off. I just have to limit it to one question. Um, I don't really cut them off, off, like cut them, cut them off. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started with the show. The show, if you're new to the show, uh, just <clears throat> want to let you know that in the beginning of the show, I will call out names for from people that they might be saying your name, it might be their name, it might be somebody you have in common's name, or, um, and then I will do songs. The song could be from them. It could be a song they loved, you loved, or the song could simply be telling you the answer to a question you've been asking either them or heaven. Either way, <clears throat> excuse me, that is what it is. Uh, Margaret has joined us now. Hey, Diana, how are you? She has joined us now. I'm going to start with names. And this name has been, this person has been like in my ear all morning, just going, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And then doing that song, Johnny Come Lately or Johnny Come Something. There's a new kid in town. So that song has been um, playing. And then the next name I'm hearing is Lila. And then I'm hearing the song, the name, sorry, I, I am hearing a song, Layla. Um, Lay, is it Layla? You got me on my knees. Begging baby, please. I think that's the name of the song. I don't know. And then um, the next name I'm hearing is Gertrude. <sighs> Jesus, I don't think I've ever known a Gertrude in my whole entire life crazy just crazy um and then the next name is pearl and then i'm hearing the song but okay they're doing these together today folks so i just i'm gonna go with it the next song i'm hearing is by prince um yeah i'm hearing a lot of prince songs like purple rain you can give me diamonds and pearls. I think that's a Prince song. Um, you. I don't even, I can't even go. I can see the whole Prince movie. Um, uh, I can't think of the words to this song, though. It just starts, it says you in it. If you're a Prince fan, you know. I'm so sorry. That's an epic fail on my part. Okay. Um. And then I hear that song again, you got me on my knees, begging baby, please, whatever that song is. Okay, they got it, next. Okay, the next name I'm hearing is Mary, like Mary Beth, and then Mary or, and or Mary Beth, and then the next 
name I'm hearing is Edward. And then the next, uh, Kenny Loggins, any song by Kenny Loggins. And then the next, is it a name? Is Joshua. Okay, and then I'm going to, are there any other songs? They start to sing one song and it morphs into another song, but it's something about rain. So when they're saying this song about rain, it starts as one song. Oh, rain drops keep falling on my head. Boop, boop, ba -doo, doo. Um, and then it morphs into Purple Rain by Prince. Those are the songs. Those are the names. And now I'm going to do a little bit of channeling for everyone. You know what? Today, um, do you guys want to hear? Um, yeah, they're saying channel. They're telling me to channel. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Anne. Happy to see both of you here. They're telling me to channel. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> For each of you have a very divine driven purpose. It does not mean your purpose has to be monumental, but it is something that is monumental within you that you have to let out of you. For each of you, there is a purpose, something you are to be doing here that will light your light and make it shine brighter than anybody or anything else you could have ever imagined or at any time in your past. If you get on that path to your divine purpose, your own divinity, your light will shine so beautifully and so strongly. Nothing will waver you. Nothing will make you question where you're going and what you are doing. <clears throat> It is when you run into things that are counterintuitive, counterproductive to your purpose that you will halter, you will fade your light. Oh. You will start to feel dimmed down. What is counterintuitive could be a person, a place, a thing, a thought. We need you to now stay in focus on where you are going <clears throat> and what it is that you would love to accomplish here. We need you to move forward gracefully and gratefully in the direction that you were sent here to move forward to. And you may be asking, but I don't know my purpose. But you do. Your purpose is that which you have passion for. It does not mean you have to start some big company. It does not mean you have to start millions of dollars to do this. Whatever you are meant to do, you can do it now. Many of you are healers. Many of you are uh, readers. Many of you are seers. And that does not mean you quit your day job and you start doing it. It means you just do it. Just allow that what is inside of you to come out of you. Many of you are just speakers. And it does not matter what you speak on. You just have to get what you're speaking out to people. Out to the audience. In whatever way that you can. Whether it be through a book. Whether it be through this social media whether it be in front of people on platforms. It is now your time to step up and step forward. Many of you have dreams about what it is you are supposed to be doing in this life, bringing people together. Whatever it is, now is the time for you to do it. Please have no fear. If it is inside of you, if it is a vision, it is to come to fruition. And the sooner the better. All righty. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know. Sal is asking, is that a European accent? I'm going to say that's an ancient accent, Sal. That is, I don't even know. It's, um, 
it's some kind of accent, isn't it? <laughs> Um, I do know Mimi's asking if I'm channeling an angel. Yes, they're ascended ones. Um, I do know who they are. I've talked with them about who they are and where they come from and what they do. And I don't discuss that because I don't want people to be preoccupied with whom I'm channeling over the channeling itself. The message is the important thing not who they are or where they come from. Okay. Um, hey, Maris, how are you? Natalie, welcome to the show. I'm going to get started with callers. If you are calling in, uh, the number is 845-277-9131. I will be uh, answering one question or helping you connect with one person on the other side. And there's a Dwayne, D, like D W. A Y N E, Dwayne, Dwayne, whether you're a Dwayne or they're a Dwayne, there's a Dwayne here for you. And then I will be alternating questions on, on, on the phone with questions in the chat. So um, please be patient with your questions. And I am going to get started now. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name's Sharon from Ohio. Hey, Sharon, how are you today? Doing well. How can I help you, beautiful? One question I know I, I heard. <laughs> um, next month is August. The first week of August, it's my semi-annual review. How do you feel that's going to go? I called you last year at the same time for the same thing. I got a good one last year, but do you feel it going the yeah, same way this year? It's going to go, I just hear really well. It's going to be actually empowering for you. So they might do like two good things. One thing that can improve, but even what they're saying can improve. You're up to par with it. They just always have to say something. They can't make it sound like you're a superstar, but you really are. Everything is going Thanks. really well. You're going to get a great review. You're going to have an amazing August. As a matter of fact, and I know, I know, um, I'm going to say this because it's coming in. If you don't have travel already planned in August, there's going to be travel in August and or September. Like it might be end of August into September. And I'm not saying it has to be like, obviously, maybe not to another country, but it might be quick overnight trips or little getaways. But I see August, there's going to be travel and possibly September. It might, if it's one trip or two, it doesn't matter. There is some travel coming in for you and it's going to be good travel. Don't say no. If somebody says, hey, we should do this or you don't have it planned and it comes in, say yes. Do the travel because it's going to lead to something bigger or better. Um, something it's going to lead to something good for you. OK, love. Wow, that's enlightening. Thank you. You're so welcome. And the what, you know, what it might lead to, and I, I'm going to just say this for a, a second, is it just might lead to you getting back in the right vibration. And sometimes when I say this is going to lead to something really you powerful for you, people are thinking, oh, I'm going to buy a lottery ticket and win. Well, okay, yeah, I hope you do um, right after me. But I, that's a joke. But what I'm getting is when we do those things that bring in fun or just get us out of our element, it realigns our frequency and our vibration and puts us back up there. And it kind of resets us for everything coming in. So anybody getting the chance to travel, travel, do it safely, be aware of your surroundings, but go and have a good time. If you don't like flying, drive. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, love. I needed that today. I really did. Yeah. And if there is nothing coming in, call somebody and say, hey, look look up some things and say, hey, let's get away. Because I feel like August and or September, there is travel and it's going to be monumental. And I see, I don't know. 
I don't know what this is, but I see that wherever you're going, there may be some waterfalls, with definitely water, but maybe waterfalls. If you can go someplace with waterfalls, hit me back and let me know where that is because I really want to go to waterfalls this summer. So, okay. Thank you so much. Listen, you have a good day, okay? You too, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. Hey, you guys, if you've been to any place that has really good waterfalls, can you post it? Because I really want to go check out some waterfalls this summer. Um, so let me know. Okay, I'm going to go to an online question in YouTube. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, Diana is the first question. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, Diana, I'm going to do Diana. Um, and the question for Diana is, Diana from Houston, do you see me traveling to Mexico anytime soon? Thank you and many blessings. Diana, I hear October, but it's your choice. You really have to get everything together. And it may actually be close to November, October, November. I feel like there's going to be a family element with this. And I feel like it's going to be a really good time. But please, Diana, wherever you go, um, be really, really, really careful. Okay. Um, having said that, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 770-770. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Kathy from Georgia. Hey, Kathy. I love Georgia. I do. I've only been there a couple of um, times, but I just like Georgia. How can I help you? I, love? It's a lot to do. Um, I have a question. I had an interview on Friday for a financial service manager two position, and I wanted to see if you saw if I would get the offer for it. I'm hearing you're going to get an offer for this. They are going to offer you something. I feel like you're going to think they're kind of, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm just going to say it. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm hearing short changed. I feel like you might be feeling like whatever they're offering you, you might be getting a little bit short changed and it might not be. You, you might feel like they're not giving you everything you thought they would give you, but they will. But they will. So it might start out for the first whatever you get this, and then after that, it goes to the full package. Stick it out. It'll be worth it. Okay? And if they negotiate something like that with you, what I'm hearing you need to do is say, okay, I'm willing to go. Let's say it's the first 90 days or the first 30 days or whatever it is. I'm willing to do that. But then at the end of that, you have to this. Um, you can add something in for yourself. But I feel like even if you don't, it will be so worth it because you're going to do really well at this particular place. Now, I do feel like there's another, com another company. Yeah. Another company, I was going to say another offer coming in, but another company right on the tails of this one that is going to make you an offer also. So if you get a call back or call for another interview, take it. Even if you know you're getting this one, it's always nice to have, you know, a couple offers or to know there's something else out there. And definitely go for the right. go to the second uh, place, whatever the second company is, and entertain their offer also, and see what they're willing to give you as far as uh, uh, an offer. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for you. I feel like both companies will give you an offer. Uh, take the one that is stronger in the long run. Okay. 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 I, Do you see when they'll contact me? Just quick. I do. If I, you don't, that's fine. Thank you know you. what? I this is a thing with timelines. I am hearing something. I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's the first company okay. or the second company. I'm hearing tomorrow. However, however, tomorrow doesn't always mean tomorrow. It just means it's coming in quick. 
Um, so I hope that's helpful. And I want to tell everybody when when we are giving you timelines, sometimes we can be straight on and it really is tomorrow or it really is the 12th or it really is this day or that day. It ends up landing there. But on the other side, they don't really have time. And the way we do like time segments, the way we do. And when other people are involved, things can change because everything might be set up to come through tomorrow. However, somebody calls in sick or something else happens and gets, you know, too busy or whatever it is. So I always say, whenever you ask somebody, whether it's a reader, a psychic, a medium, something, and it involves other people, always leave room for the other people to change their mind or their perspective on where things can go. Um, I can tell you your destiny a little bit, um, but when it starts being based on other people's choices and decisions, they do have free will and they can change their mind. That's why when people call and say, will this person be loyal to me? As of right now, yeah. But that doesn't mean in five years, um, you know, Hoochie Mama isn't going to come up to the, you know, up to him at work and not try to tempt him while the two of you are fighting. I don't know, uh, you know, so you just have to realize that. And no, I'm not reading anybody when I'm talking about a five year timeline and a Hoochie Mama. OK, that's that is not a read. That is just an example, not an exact. All righty, I'm going to go to the next question online from Natalie. And then, Anne, I'm going to answer your question next. Hey, Tony, we have a family property I recently visited, and the back door was cracked open. Items were missing. Was this a family member, and is anything else missing? Yes, other things are missing. Was it a family member? No, it was a friend of the family. I feel like it was a younger kid, brown hair, thin. And when I say younger kid, I don't mean like, I don't mean like eight or nine. I mean like teens or late teens, early 20s. I'm really bad with age. It's probably because I have never acknowledged my own. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's like a, a it, 20s. I'm hearing 20s up, up to like somebody who is um, a little bit desperate for money, but light brown hair, um, jeans and a t-shirt. I know that's really bad. Uh, I'm seeing a blue t-shirt if that helps. Um but the the skin the skin color is white, um, well with the light brown hair, um, and a, a a thinner build, a a lighter like a runner's like a thinner build and like some people have bigger bones and that makes them look a little bit stockier. This person does not. This person's not stocky like that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 510. 510. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm sorry. Can you, can, uh, can you please pull the phone to your face? Because it sounds like you're speaking through a little like can't tin can. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Uh, my name's Tamika. Um, yeah. Calling from California, and I'm trying to see, is there anything? I'm just going through so much, and I just don't see any way out of this. I really don't. And I'm, I'm wondering if any ancestors is around me have any messages on how I'm going to come out of this dark financial phase in my life. I'm just being blocked from everything. Okay, Tamika, um, I'm first... I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for what you're going through. And I know that you feel extremely overwhelmed right now because I just like want to cry. I want to cry. And I know that you, but it's a cry with an anger. And just leave this place. Just leave this earth because it's like that. It's like I struggled this hard. Why be here? 
Okay, so Tamika, first and foremost, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put you on mute for just one second, but don't go any place. Um, because when I answer a question, I kind of need to focus on the answer or just let the answer flow through. And if I hear someone talking, I stop and then I I I might not get the full answer for you. Okay. The first thing, and I know Tamika, you're gonna think I'm crazy for saying this, but when there's a will, there's a way, and if they're saying it. That means the moment you decide to do this, all the means will come through for you. The first thing I'm hearing is you need to move either the place you're living, the building, the apartment, the, the home, whatever it is, the, air, the, the space you are in is not a good energy for you. It's more of a good energy for those who are scheming, for lack of a better word. OK, it's not your energy and you need to get up, up, get up. I can't even say it. This is not how I would normally talk. You need to get up out of there, girl. Um, that is the first thing they are saying. And I know you would say, you know, financially, I can't because I'm not financially set to do that. And I get that. I get that. But the moment you decide the finances will come through or someone will come through and help you. The, the thing I am getting, and again, you may not love this answer, but please hear it all the way through, is you might land with a relative or somebody who is like a soul relative just for a minute while you get back on your feet, but in another location, okay? I feel like you're going to, like, you may even end up outside of the not only the home you're the the space the the home you're in, but you may end up outside of the city and or state if you choose to. If you want me to say where I think uh, might be good and whether you know somebody there or not, I don't know why I'm hearing Louisiana. I don't know if that's your next move, but that is a possible place for you to end up. Now, you don't have to do anything I'm saying. I am not the boss of you. I am just giving you the messages that are coming through. The next thing I'm hearing is find a cash job, a cash job. I say this to everybody all the time. A cash job, oh, man, the ringing in my ears just went to like a plus 10 on that. Oh, Um, it turned into like the strongest harp I've ever heard and brought in this power and strength. So Tamika, listen the poop up. Um, a cash job can be waitressing someplace for somebody and it doesn't have to be some big fancy place. It can just be like any place. And I'm going to tell you some of those smaller diner type places or truck stop type places, you can make so much money because those people are so grateful for a smiling face and a listening ear, a listening ear. Who's ever coming through for you, Tamika, a grandma, a grandma's coming through. Tamika, there is another thing. Um, that you can do and this isn't as quick a cash but it is ca uh, money down the line it won't come through today or tomorrow so i recommend no matter what you do you still get this cash job you do whatever you can do to get you know this type of money coming in immediately um the second thing i'm hearing is there are websites where you can sign up and you can just talk to people and be their virtual friend and you get paid by the minute to do that and you can be a virtual girlfriend a virtual friend um whatever it is but you i'm hearing that you need cash now and that cash job and i don't know why i keep seeing some sort of diner coming in where they will work with you and your schedule, and they will even work with however you need to get paid. Now, whether that means they don't literally cut you a check and they just, it's all money, 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 Woo! which we all need to go back to. You know, I just, 
think that sometimes. Anyway, um, let me stay on topic as much as I can. Um, I feel like that is going to be the strongest answer for you. Sometimes when we hear an answer, we don't want to hear that answer. We want to know a pile of money is going to drop in our lap. That would be really nice, Tamika, but I don't feel like that is going to be your resolve. I do feel like, however, you do need to move as soon as you can and you need to get into a situation. And I hear it's going to be a co-living situation, meaning you will be living with someone else. Okay. Um, I hope that that is helpful for you, Tamika, and I'm so, so sorry for your situation. And for you and everybody listening or watching, I'm going to do a clearing. Whatever is stopping or blocking us has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that now. Um, all that caused us and kept us has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that now. And before the show, I do clearings for the show and everybody listening. So that should be or calling in. So that should be in effect also. OK, so I'm going to say something here. Um, if you are on YouTube and you are asking me a question, please make it a new question. Don't ask me something that you ask every single time that you watch the show. Um, please ask something new because I don't want to keep asking, answering the same question over again, especially since this show does air on TV and every podcast. It's not just you and I having a little chitty chat. It's everybody else listening to. So please ask a new question if you are asking in the chat. Okay, uh, la 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 la. Uh, Nancy, hi Tony. Since you mentioned the name Pearl, does my mother Pearl have any messages for me from the other side? Thank you so much. Um, I, clearly, Nancy. Okay, Pearl, yes. And then I hear the song by Prince again. Okay. I'm asking Nancy, what would you like to tell? I mean, Pearl, what would you like? Tell her I love her. Tell her I miss my baby. Ooh, won't you tell her? That song comes through instantly. I love it. And then she says, no, seriously, just tell her I, I miss. She misses like those little get togethers, whether I don't know if it was like you two would, you know, get together and have. Whatever it was when you two, however you two would get together, um, and I'm seeing coffee, whether you would talk while she had her coffee or you had your coffee, or whatever it was, she misses that. And then um, she is saying um, that she wants you to know that she is bringing you a, a light. And the light isn't like a, uh, uh, it's like a beam of light, but almost like a, a soul. She's bringing you light. Okay, she's bringing you light in the darkness. She's bringing you light in the darkness. Okay, so what I see is like this, a star that shines down to your heart and connects. That's what she's bringing you. And she wants you to know that, Nancy. I hope that's helpful. Um, um, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. And I think the next caller is 780. I don't know. I don't know where I left off. 780, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay Caller from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, Jay. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? Yeah, my question is, is that I experience, I just want to know what the meaning of it is. So I was actually at a place getting a part for my car. And because it was hot outside, I decided to leave the window open. So I went and got the part, came back, and there was actually a dragonfly in my car. <sighs> and uh, this dragonfly, so I went to the passenger side to get the, uh, let the dragonfly out of the car. And what happened is the dragonfly didn't fly off. Actually, it landed on my face, <laughs> uh, on the side of my face. And uh, I didn't do anything. I was like, this is the second time this has happened. And there's four 
people for guys in a truck uh that actually parked right beside me i said you know there's a dragonfly and i said yeah this is the second time this happened to me so i just wonder what the this maybe the meaning or spiritual meaning of that is and um, it's a, it definitely a sign so i just want your thoughts about that is thank you yeah absolutely so there are certain things that are definitely signs from people up above letting us know that they are with us and they really try to drive that point home so butterflies and dragonflies, um, birds, definitely signs, um, feathers, always feathers and coins or yeah. finding money are signs that a loved one is around us. And this dragonfly literally landing on your face is like they're in your face letting you know, hey, we are right here. Talk to us. Um, what I'm hearing is that song, talk to me, baby, uh, uh, which I cannot sing or get the beat up, but whatever. Um, they want you to know that and they want you to be aware that they are right there listening and they're, they're in your, they're literally in your face telling you, just ask us and we'll do it. Just ask us and we'll do it. We will do it for you. Okay, love. So that's what they want you to know, Jay. I'm so grateful for you sharing that with us and letting all of us uh, get that information today. Thank you so much, Jay. You're very welcome and have a beautiful and grateful uh, day and uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Many you? blessings and much love. Uh, thank you. You too, Jay. Thank you so much. Um, okay, another song that's coming through, and it was coming through yesterday, is, um, I think it's, I know it's, I think I know it's Johnny Cash, and uh, that song, Ring of Fire, I think it's called Ring of Fire. Uh, I fell into a burning ring of fire, went down, 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 and the flames went higher. B uh, burning love? I don't know why that song is coming in, but it is uh, for whomever it's worth, for, for, for whatever it's worth and for whomever it's for, there's that song. Okay. Um, I, Anne wants to know if her cousin um, Donald has any question, any message for her. And I'm going to give you this message and then I'm going to ask that um, moving forward, you have, um, uh, uh, um, here we go. So Donald wants, the first thing Donald wants to say is, um, you need to get out of the house. And I think I did answer this for you either last week or the week before, but I just put it in the message and answered it for you. And you need to get out of the house. And I know your response was, it's really hot in New York. Well, there are places with air conditioning you can go to, but you need to literally get up and get out of your house, okay? Even if it's for five minutes at a time, get up and get out of your house is the message that they everybody on the other side is giving you Anne, and they're giving you this message with so much love and tenderness. They know that you're a very fragile soul and they want to be very delicate when they talk to you, even though sometimes you're not comprehending the message the way they're sending it through. They really, 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 really need you to get up. Even if you just walk to the corner and back, you need to get up and get out of your house get a little bit of sun exposure. Even if you just go to like a corner store or go someplace where there's AC and hang out in a different environment. It's so important for you to do that. Um, I cannot express how important they think this is for you. And so please, please, please listen to them. You don't have to get up and be outside all afternoon. Okay, you don't, that's not what they're saying. Just like a couple minutes at a time, go out, get some sun, get in a new environment and come back in. Um, the air or the energy in our home can become very stagnant when we're not getting up and going out and doing things. Okay, and so that is the message your cousin um, has for you. I hope that was very, very helpful for you. And thank you so much for, for asking that. I'm going to go to 571. 571, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, this is Dee calling from Virginia. And hey. I'll ask my question and then listen to your answer. Thank you. Um, so I'm at a job at the moment. What type of energy and do you think this is something that I should pursue? Yes, but I do hear um, if you do so wish something new is coming in for you, um, you will either be offered something new or so you'll something new is coming in for you work wise. Now this could be with the same place or it could be connected with this place. I went to say some someplace completely different, but I don't feel as strong about that. Um, there, I feel like this, I really feel like you're going to be offered something new within a month. It might even be within this month, but definitely within a month, you're going to be offered something new. So if let's just say, for example, you're at this company or this place of employment, they may see an opening and say, Hey, are you interested in this? Or, and it may even be, it may be like a lateral move with more money or longer term. Um, or it may literally be a little bit of a move up. Show up and shine out is what I'm hearing. Don't be afraid to glow up at work and like be that. Uh, I'm not saying be a kiss butt, but show up and do your job and do it diligently and don't take on that attitude that some people have at work. You know, um, I'm only getting paid this much, a quiet quitting and da, 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 da. Don't do that because if you show up and you do, or, you know, whether it's virtual or not, just do your job and do it diligently is the word they keep using. You're going to get uh, like a, a more from them. They're going to, they're going to reciprocate for you. Okay, love. That's what I'm getting. I hope that was helpful. Thank you. Now, I am going to say, Thank if you. this is an offer from another company, whatever the offer is that comes in, whatever the offer that comes in is, take it. Because it's going to lead you to bigger, better places. Whether it's with this company or okay. another company. If a new offer comes in, jump on it and own it and own it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Take okay. it. Thank you. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm so happy that I was able to answer your question today. I am going to go to, uh, thank you, Steve, for the compliment. Um, I am going to go to uh, Michelle. Finally caught alive. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um I love the listening to this. Just hoping one day my husband comes through. Michelle, tell me what your husband's name is, and we'll see if we can connect with him. Um, and Michelle, I'm starting to do evening shows. So this Wednesday, I'll be doing a 7 p.m. live. And if you are listening or watching, I, I'm thinking I'm going to take my Wednesday show to 7 p.m. Central Time every single Wednesday. And this Thursday, Marla and I will be answering questions together at 8 p.m. So please, 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 please join us. Thank you. Okay, Michelle, just put um, your husband's name, his first name, just his first name in the comments, just so I make sure I'm going to try to make sure I have the the right person that I'm connecting with. And then while you do that, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 917. 917, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yeah, hi. My name is Carmen. And my question is related to uh, my love life. Do you have any um, information around that? Okay, Carmen, can you put that in? I, I That is a pretty exact question. Um, the first thing I hear is it's going to get better. Um, Carmen, are you single right now? Are you on? Yes. A, and are you on a possible break from someone? Like, or is it done, done? Done, done. Okay, in your opinion, not in their opinion. I feel like someone from the past is going to, 
you know, like those, um, what's that song? Uh, trailer park girls come around the outside. Some, some trailer park trash is going to come around the outside trying to get you back. Say no, say no. Um, I feel like someone from the past is going to try to come back. You need to let that be over before it starts because also at the very same time, at the very same time, almost like within, and I might be exaggerating here, almost with like within minutes of each other, somebody brand new is going to walk in and this is going to happen in August. I feel like the first week of August because I see the first, second and third, and then I see the eighth. So whatever that means, these are days okay. you should be out, about, open to meeting new people. I do feel like this new person walking in is going to be someone. Um, don't go any, Carmen, don't go any place. I need to mute you because there's a lot of background noise, but please keep listening. The new person walking in is going to be somebody who and I keep hearing the name John or Johnny. And if that's the old person, don't do not go back to the old person. Don't even respond to anything they send you. Let that connection, that energy completely be done over. You don't owe them anything, not even an answer. You don't owe them not even an answer. Don't be kind. Don't be nice. Oh, I, I should just be nice and answer. No. No, 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 no. That's how what that's how they get us because we feel like, well, I, I at least need to answer. So I, I feel like a good don't be a good person. They weren't, so you don't have to be. Okay. The new person that's coming in is going to be much, much better has what we would consider a professional career, meaning not like a mechanic or anything like that. Um, I feel like this person is going to be very, very good for you. You meet this person organically. I feel like you meet this person while you're obviously out and about. Um, you might even meet this person in some way through work. That does not mean the cubicle next to you. No. Do not dip your stick or allow people to dip their work stick in you. No. This means you might be at work and step out for lunch and meet somebody while you're at lunch. Completely acceptable. The cubicle next to you, you will, mm, no, don't, never, mm -mm, what, no. Mm. So that's what I have for you, love. And I feel like this is going to come in and it has the potential to come in in August as long as you are out, about, and open to something new coming in, okay? And again, if you respond to the old person, they are going to try to weasel and wiggle their way right back in and please just dead that immediately. It is not, it is not, do not even respond is what I'm getting. Okay, love, thank you so much for calling in. I hope that was helpful. Um, and I'm sorry I had to mute you because of the background noise. I'm so sorry for that. Um, okay, the next question. Oh, Michelle says her, Michelle Lee says her husband's name is Casey. Okay, Casey, where are you? Here, here, here. Okay, Casey. Okay, Casey wants to say, Michelle, I'm just, I can only tell you what I hear. It's in the back. It's in the back. It's in the back. If you've been looking for something, ooh, the goosebumps are strong. If you feel like you misplaced something, lost something, he, he might have put something somewhere. If you've been looking for something, it's in the back. That is all he keeps saying. It's in the back. I don't know if that's helpful or not. I really hope it is. Every time I ask him to say something else, he just keeps saying it's in the back. Please let me know if that's helpful. And I'm, I really hope it was. Hey, Patrick, thank you so much for joining the show. Okay, I'm going to go to the 
first, 203-203-331. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Uh, this is Michelle and calling from Georgia. Hey, how can I help you today? Well, um, my uh, my job is such a roller coaster. I mean, I have high hopes every day walking in, and then I <laughs> something just depresses me. At least, you know, it's every day. So I'm just wondering how long I'm going to be at this job and what's going to happen. Okay, so I hear a month, but I also hear you need to actively be participating in finding something new. So for you and every single other person looking for something new or a job right now, let's anything that's stopping or blocking this has been cleared. I get a soft no, so it's right around the corner. Let's clear anything stopping or blocking uh, new work with great um, fit. That's a great fit with good pay, good benefits coming in. We're going to clear that. Um, being in chaotic work situations has been cleared. We're going to clear that. And I'm going to tell you, I, I hear a month. I hear this new work is coming in in a month. I feel like you are going to fit perfectly in. It's a really fun crowd that you're going to be working with in your next position. But do not, especially in the beginning, do not go out and have fun with them. Like if they get together every like Friday or Saturday night and, you know, throw a couple back, do not do it in the beginning. Um, get to know them first and make sure you who you can trust and who you can't is who I'm what I'm hearing. Find out who's with who before you go out and have fun with them is what I'm hearing. What you do is up to you. Oh. I can only give you the message. I'm going to tell you, within a month, you're going to find this position. You may switch over within a month, but it may take a month and a half to switch over. Do not quit your job until you have a new one. But I do feel like it's coming in quickly. I do feel like you need to look for this position. It is not going to land in your lap. Although I do feel like if you do ask a friend or someone you know, you are going to be brought into, like you, somebody you know may have a position available at their company, but you still have to pursue it. Like you have to be asking, you have to be looking you have to be out there. And I don't know why I'm hearing this for you. And this might sound crazy, but I'm hearing this is the second time today I'm I'm talking about this. But it might even be a position in some sort of insurance or insurance company. I don't know what, but if that comes up, go for it. Okay. I don't. If it doesn't, that's okay. Oh, Whatever God. company comes up, it's going to be fine. But it might be something even along those lines, okay? And I do feel like if you are working a Monday through Friday, you're going to get. You're also going to find something that you can do on the weekends that is like maybe just one one night. Like maybe let's say you work Monday through Friday. Maybe you do this Friday night and Saturday. And it's just your fun money job or your extra thing where you start to stash stuff and really take a hold of your life and take control of your finances. And I feel like that's coming in within also that same time frame within a month. Um, you may actually find the, the extra thing before you find the new thing. But either way, just take it all and run with it, okay? And don't quit your day job for your weekend job is also what I'm getting, okay, love? Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, do, 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 you, do you think that this new job is something I've applied for already? Because I have some outstanding things I'm waiting to hear on. 
Yes, yes, it is. I instantly hear a yes, and I'm oh. hearing it's coming in soon. And I do feel like you should also, if I'm going to say this again, I know I'm kind of repeating myself. If you have a friend that's out there um, doing something, making a little extra, you know, money on the whatever, even if it's their full-time thing, ask if there's something you can do there part-time. And I do feel like it is coming in. You've already applied, but keep applying to other things because you're going to have a couple of opportunities coming in, okay? All right. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Okay. You, you are so welcome. <laughs> you are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the, the week. And good luck on your job search, okay, love? All right, thank you. I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, it's in. The, Michelle wants to know, it's in the back of what? <laughs> I sold everything and moved, but I have his things. Okay, what's it in the back of? The car. It's in the back of the car. Um, either the back seat or the trunk of the car. I would check that and see if you find something there. If not, I'm not sure. But if, okay, so Michelle, this is also a thing that happens with my um, readings a lot is it's not something that happened yet, but it's something that come, comes in and the people don't know what I'm talking about, but then something happens and then there's the answer. It came in pre before the um, before you, it even happened. OK, so I hope I, I really, really do hope that is helpful, Michelle. But he just keeps saying the same thing. It's in the back. It's in the back. Okay, I want to remind everybody this Wednesday show will be at 7 p.m. And thank you for the compliment, um, Patrick. That's very kind of you also. Um, this Wednesday show will be at 7 p.m. Thursday at 8 p.m. with Marla. And it, I have a new service that I'm offering. It's on my website. It's um, a manifestation session. And I also have a manifestation program. So the manifestation session will help you to manifest one thing you're trying to bring into your life, whether it be work, love, whatever it is. Seconds. Hey, Abby, thank you for joining the show. Um, and I also offer private readings and hypnosis and healings. So if you're interested in any of that, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F. Oh, is the site you want to go to. I did go see the Sound of Freedom yesterday um, with some people, and I would recommend you go see it. 60 seconds. I did lose it. <laughs> I did lose it. I'm so happy I took a sweatshirt and I could, like, hold it over my face. Um, it, it is a very sensitive subject, so please make sure you can handle it before you go. It's not graphic, but it is honest. I do wish they would have gone a little bit more into some of the things that are happening today. But however, 10 out of 10, I would give it a 50. Like, seriously, it brought it to the forefront. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see everybody at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Until then, have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. I love each and every one of you. So stay tuned.